Good evening. With Christmas about a week away, health officials are warning people to be cautious with any holiday gatherings. Yeah, Sanford says it's seen a surge in COVID-19 patients along with people seeking treatment for other illnesses. Today we had a chance to talk with Dr. Jeremy Cowles about his concerns as we head into the holidays. A couple of times this week, Sanford Hospital in Sioux Falls was treating more than their maximum 450 patients. And after two years of a pandemic... It's exhausting. It's just simply exhausting. And I think that is one of the major concerns as you go into a holiday season or otherwise. Dr. Cowles is concerned that there is a perception out there that there is plenty of room in the hospital and that ICU beds are readily available. For instance, the state health department's website reports 29.5% of the state's ICU beds are open. Sanford has the largest number of intensive care unit beds in the state, but they're actually divided up into pediatric intensive care unit beds, neonatal intensive care unit beds, and adult ICU beds. And we're unfortunately not able to interchange those. So if you look at that graphic, what it shows is that we have lots of open ICU beds, but what I can tell you is I will not fit in a neonatal intensive care unit bed. Those little cribs won't work for me. And it's important for us to recognize that in adult ICU beds, we are very, very tight right now. Even though he's the chief physician, Dr. Cowell still works the floor at the hospital on occasion. Half the patients he admitted this week were unvaccinated people sick with COVID. He says those patients are inadvertently impacting other sick people. One of the other admissions I did was a 34-year-old with a kidney stone. Now, a 34-year-old with a kidney stone for me is a pretty normal admission. It shouldn't take that long. It shouldn't be that hard to put up on the floor. Uh, that unfortunate woman had to wait eight hours for a hospital bed. Dr. Cowles encourages people to get vaccinated as well as get the booster, saying it is the clearest path to putting the pandemic behind us. The latest hospital data from Monument Health in Rapid City also shows the importance of getting the vaccine. Of the 29 COVID-19 patients in Monument Hospitals, 86% are unvaccinated. All of the patients in the ICU or on ventilators are also unvaccinated.